with Peter and myself disabled, our ideas are out the window. So we're gonna have to rely on Mark and Sean to help us create these games in two hours. It just works. <laughs> How is this happening? I don't know. That's what I thought. Why didn't you know this? Don't mind the gap. Matters, don't mind the gap. Matters, don't mind the gap. Matters, it does not matter. It Alrighty. Well, over the last few years, Peter and myself have been learning Unreal Engine. While we've been usually using it for filmmaking, today that all changes. We saw an opportunity for a little challenge. We are going to compete in developing a game. Now, we're going to only have a few hours for this, so there's going to be a little bit of pressure here. Why don't we give this challenge a little spin? <laughs> oh, well, let's cut right to it. All right. High five. So the doctors were able to reattach our hands, thankfully, but they said we need at least a year to even get any feeling back in our hands. So I still want to make this game. Yeah, me too. Uh, Do you know anybody who could help us out? I happen to know a famous YouTube personality who's incredibly interested in learning Unreal Engine, and he might be able to help us. Is he in the studio right now? He is. He's here with us right now. You oh may have God. seen him before. <gasps> I, wow. It's Sean. You know, obviously I don't have hands, uh, but I see you got two right I there. I do, yeah. <laughs> You've been saying you want to learn Unreal, so I think it's finally time. Yeah, big video game fan. Yeah. Playing them for years on my channel. Like, just really want to get into the, the weeds of it, you know? And like, I mean, it's, you're, you're great because you know what a good video game is. So you, like, you probably could make one, right? Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. I feel like if I'm able to like critique something harshly over and over and over again enough that I'll be able to make something amazing. Oh, and that's I, what my parents did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are gonna be working together yeah. on this. Yeah, yeah I think could it'll I, be great. Do you think I could have some help too? Or uh, are you gonna be busy with... Uh, uh, is there anyone else? I guess there's... Um, Mark, are you doing anything right now? This is our intern, Mark. No. Mark, could you could we steal you for the day if you don't, if you don't have anything to do? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I, would, I would love to. Cool. Yeah, I would do love you have any interest in making games? Yeah, a little. Okay. Yeah, okay. A little. When cool. did you uh, when did you get in town? A couple of minutes ago. You, you didn't like tell me beforehand that you were coming in. Well, you don't know Unreal Engine. This is perfect because you're like an intern and he's an intern, so you guys might, are gonna probably work really well together. Sam, I've been working here for six years. I, I feel like I'm not an intern at this point. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it, you know, it never leaves you though. Are you an intern now? No, no, no. No, he's a guest. He's a guest yeah. today. Interns. Yeah. Ow! All right, we have our new teams, we have a new plan. With Peter and myself disabled, our ideas are out the window, so we're gonna have to rely on Mark and Sean, both of their hands and their minds to help us create these games in two hours. We have one million dollars. Put in the explosion. Put in the explosion. Yeah! I am terrified because I don't know anything about this, and looking at the menu, it looks like there's a bajillion things you can do. Mark is finally learning Unreal after months of being here. I've been here for a month and a half. I've done a lot of cleaning, I've done a lot of maintenance, I've done a lot of like subterfuge, um, but I have not done a lot of learning visual effects, which is kind of like the whole purpose of me here. Actually, specifically, it's just Unreal Engine. This is the first time someone's down and walked through Unreal with me. Gotcha. I know this is a big moment for you. Big fun. And you have to get over it, because we have to keep moving through this. Nice. Yes. Breathe. Nice. Sorry, okay, just... take your emotions. Yeah. Pretend there's a bottle right here. Yeah. Bottle them down. Can you hold my hand? All right, gamers. Two hours begins now. So is this two hours until finished game time? Uh, yes, sir. All right, go. Oh, let's just wow. go. Oh. We're making a new project from scratch. Oh, God. So we're going to do the third person template. Got it. Now down here, let's name your game. You, you can name it whatever you want. I mean, what do you think I should name it? OK, well, my great project is always a classic. Name's like the most important yeah. thing. Yeah. Everyone knows this. Mm -hmm. Mark, great name. Peter, yeah. great name. Yeah. That's meter. Meter. Park. 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 Meet Park. Meet Park. Mm. Thoughts? The done. I don't love think. it. So if you click that, that will run your game. And now Ooh. click there. And now this is basic WASD controls. Oh. And you can jump. What kind of like ass size can I do on this character? 
Oh, shit. Like, where's that the, was like literally, we knew you were going to say something about that. Where's the butt sliders? Okay, just put, I'm, I'm keep, the, keep, that, keep that in your pocket. Keep that in your pocket. How hard is it to make an endless runner? It's kind of tough. I mean, what if there's a template for it in the marketplace? There could be. There you go, $5. Oh, Endless Runner Creator. Owned, owned. Let's throw out the third person template and we're gonna use the Endless Runner template instead. Joke's on them, there's no end to this game. <laughs> <laughs> what, what challenges do you want to throw at Mark? What's a game that is not broken, yet unbeatable? His biggest fear is the ocean. Okay, once he's in the water, what's gonna get him? Uh, shark. Is he trying to get up to the surface and breathe yeah, up? And if he doesn't get there in time, he drowns? The main element is stress. What, what do you, where should we go with this? It's a blank slate. Okay, so he's, the thing, I know him very well. Yeah. I know him, we've known each other for many years, we've talked many times, we've really gotten to know each other. He's Irish. Uh, nice. Hey, what do Irish like? What do the Irish You like? should know, we've been friends for like, Eight years, but maybe even longer. It's just for me, because I don't know. Uh, he'll tell you. All right. For the big buns, here we go. Add anyway, sphere. So, yeah. let's, let's. All right, right. Oh, that's so, the size yeah. I'm talking about. So drag it and attach it to your mesh. Okay. And pelvis. Pelvis. And there you that's go. That's good. Hey, cool. There you oh. Go. So there you go. Let's go! <laughs> I know that he's gonna get distracted by this. That I'll play, I'll put in the cheeks, he'll play the game, he'll be so distracted by the sheer amount of that ass that's on screen that he won't want to play anything. So we're collecting assets right now. We're looking for Irish stereotypes such as leprechauns, pots of gold. Stop it! That's racist. No, 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 no you don't understand. You don't understand. Anti-racist. It is actually. It's cultural appreciation. So the idea is to avoid the stereotypes, but when you hit the stereotypes, it adds the stereotypes to your character, and the more stereotypes you have, the less health you have. And then if you get too many, you die. It's, we're focusing on stereotypes because we're breaking it's stereotypes. It's so much deeper than you think it is. You yeah. don't understand. You have no idea where we're even coming from. <laughs> Pint of Guinness. Perfect. Potato. Feel free. Yep. Um, leprechaun stand. That's good for Fifteen dollars? That's pretty good though. <laughs> That's great. Look at the texture yes. of the grain on the wood. Personally, if you're really connected to it, we can get it, but I don't think we need it. I think we need it. All right, gamers, 30 minutes has passed. What we're trying to do is decrease the gravity of our jump to make it feel underwatery. I thought that was easy. I was like, oh, there's a thing that's like, oh, your jump lasts X frames. <laughs> Let's oh, wait, just I increase the, did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> You gave me a brilliant idea. Okay. Close out of this. Character movement. There it is. Look, gravity scale, max acceleration. That's breaking what I friction. thought. Why this. didn't you know this? Look, I couldn't see it. It was hidden. You didn't scroll down far enough. Try jumping. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> so, so we have all of our assets now. We have all of our Irish stereotype assets. Uh, and we're just going to extract them, get them into Unreal, and set them up for the game. Well, you don't even need to do anything. Yep. You just find something in the store that has already done the thing that you want to do and then yeah. you modify it. You, you just take someone else's work, you reskin it, and then you publish it as your own. You know, all these artists are worried about like, oh, AI is going to take over everything. People have just been stealing work anyway. It's yeah. like, what's the, what's the difference? For thousands of years. We're not doing anything new here. I just want like a shark like coming at him. How do we like rig a new blueprint to just come at him? You're in luck. I happen to have already guessed that you were gonna want these assets. Okay. So. Can we go to the store? Are you taking me shopping? We, we, are, we get to go shopping. I got two assets for you. <gasps> yes, yes. There's a great white yeah. shark. Perfect. I'm not yelling it because I don't want him to know. Okay, Surprise perfect. is the key here. Now go down a little further. Oh. oh reef kit. Reef kit. All right, there we go. Here, we're underwater, we're, we got our setting. What's our challenge? Okay, shark. so the shark is like circling from the beginning, like in the distance going around. Then he realizes, oh, that's my enemy. If we can like hide like a, a rescue like button or something somewhere. He hits the button, his cheeks inflate. His buttons. <laughs> it carries him to the surface. Yes, perfect. That's it. All right. <laughs> Great. So it's like, so it's like a needle. <laughs> or no, no, not a needle. No, it's like a syringe full of like button injection. Yeah, it's like synthol. <laughs> 
Sunrunner, go to Blueprints. That's where all the code will be. Blueprints, okay. So we can click on that and replace it with a different mesh. Okay. Yep. Oh, great. Whoa. Yeah. Basically done. Yeah, so if we hit play. It just works. <laughs> How is this happening? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> don't You're know. the teacher. I, I didn't code this. <laughs> <laughs> just drag that out into our area here, and now we have a reference to this. So from here, we can start to draw out different qualities of it. Scripting. Yes, so what's gonna happen is he hits this thing, yeah. butt pops, all right, cheeks inflate. <laughs> and then basically what we're gonna do is the character gets turned into a set simulate physics uh, mode, basically where it ragdolls. Yeah. And then as we do that, we're gonna gradually apply velocity to that pelvic bone in the ragdoll from a, a physics standpoint. We're just gonna be adding a vertical force to that butt area yeah. on the bone. Yeah. So we're doing ass inflation. All right. It's like a rocket. Yeah. It's what? like a butt rocket. That's like it adds fuel to my inflated ass. Yeah, it's, it's like a like you light a lighter behind your butt and you fart. What like, does it look like if I just do one? Let's see what one looks like. That's the exact same. Okay, that's not okay. Um, you, you guys doing okay over there? Oh yeah, you guys. It's, yeah, it's great. If you guys need help with anything, just let us know. No, because we got done. plenty of time. We're we're playing Fortnite right now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, they just had a Goku. So. All right, gamers. That's the halfway point. One hour left. So we're trying to replace these pillars with the plank character that we bought. We can select our little plank guy. Plank guy. Yes, one. We got our planks. We got our planks in there. Also, I feel like it's kind of hard to see the face. Maybe we should. Oh, we can add a light to it. Ooh, to yeah. Uh, illuminate the face, so you can see the smiley face better on the plank that we spent fifteen dollars on. Uh, well, we didn't. You did. Well, you'll pay me back, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, now we have a little light. Why is it so difficult to make someone's ass go up? Yeah, so let's just do add impulse mesh. There we go. There we go. I think this might be it. So give us a 20 on the Z axis there. 20 on the Z. All right, and let's hit play. Let's go. Okay, please make your ass go up. The, the same thing happens. We're trying to have it so that when the player overlaps with one of these stereotypes, it gets applied to them and like snaps onto them. But we're having trouble having the player interact with these stereotypes. It's not recognizing when it's hitting them. It is a child of the pillar. Does that give it oh. any properties? The hat might not have collision yet. Auto convex collision. We can get rid of print string. Yes. And then we basically like on this attach uh -huh. component, yes. put that in there. Other comp to the parent. Yes. And then keep world. Yes. Oh, world. oh that was already set. And then yes. Boom. Dude. And then this guy knows what he's doing. <gasps> yes, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. No way. Is it our spheres? Is it our butt cheeks? Don't you fing dare. Alright, here, try that. Try it. Select our sphere one and sphere two. Collision presets. So it's block all dynamic. Switch that to no collision. Now try it one more time. They could have been fing up our shit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good job. All right, all right. This is working. All right. Let's go right to the butt cheeks then. All right. <laughs> My man. All right. Oh yeah. All right. All right. So let's save everything. Tell me how uh, the motion of the butt cheeks inflates. I I want their like hips to shatter when it happens. But just you, you want <laughs> you. Oh, it's just okay. Cool. So it's like oh. an airbag. You got any like hentai reference like lying around? Surely. I do. Uh, it's in my private collection. Okay, um, okay. Let's see, let's see if we get big. Is this the moment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like... <laughs> it's pretty big. Uh, is that with. I think that's perfect. Is that tasteful? Yeah. Okay. Only 15 minutes left. Better start making those final touches. Okay, great. We need to make these power ups make you go faster. Right. Yes. Yes. So if you get the power ups, you go faster. Yes. Right. Okay. Connect those ex execution fins and then drag the blue into the blue. This should work. Hopefully, this should make it faster. It's not quite no? faster. Mm. It's just adding, but not to the. Uh, it needs to add to this function. 
because it just sets the it sets the movement to one. Movement's zero when it's not doing anything. So when it sets to one, it just goes oh. one. It needs to change that, the multiplication factor. Because if it changes the multiplication factor to this. You're so right, dude. Yes. Yes, okay. Oh, yes, go down the dead. That has to be checked. That wasn't checked. This? Yeah, that, that, was it. that was it. It was just that. Oh, you're, 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 no, you're gonna die. Get some ass. <laughs> Eat shit and die. Let's run the game, let's take a look. Is that clear? They're going, we're going up. Yeah, they're still going up. Yeah, that's working. Final minute. Final oh minute. God, oh okay. God, wait, wait, wait. We just gotta, it gotta get this collision right. Dude, it's the gap, it, we don't, don't mind the gap. It, it don't, matters, don't mind the gap, matters, don't mind the gap. It, matters, it does not matter, it matters, it's just a little it gap. Matters, it matters, it matters. You need to save it and gotta be playable. 45 seconds. Escape, 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 escape. escape, escape. We're gonna find the hole. Quick, add impulse, set that to five instead of one. This one, right there. All right, we're done. All right, gamers. Walk away. Put it down. All right. That's it. Walk away. Hands up. That was a lot of doing. Yeah. That yeah, was well done. stressful. <laughs> oh, that was stressful. Meat Park is going to take the world by storm. Look, dude, this is a functional game. It's going to sell. <laughs> I, I, we're good. People are going to talk about it for years. Yeah. It's going to win BAFTAs. Peter. I we set out to make games, and technically we did. Technically, yes, correct. I wanna, I wanna play each other's games. So <laughs> we play yours first? Sure, sure. This okay. is a world unlike any other world you've seen before. Does this feature the reef kit? <laughs> there, may have, there may have been some reefing going on. So we set this all in underwater. Yes, there's only one way out of this ocean, and your big cheeks are your ticket to ride. Okay, I'm ready. I'm yes, ready. No, sit down. Yeah, play. No. And, oh, then we're off to a great start. Give it a click. Oh, oh look at those cheeks. Check out those cheeks. Look at those cheeks. Wow. Yeah, you're underwater. That's incredible. It, the environment is very dense, you know. It, that's oh. the power of Dude, the reef just, kit. Yeah, that's the power of the reef the, kit. The reef kit is really People don't realize right how here. strong the reef is. Is that my oxygen? That's oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's your timer. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so you said I had an ability, right? Your cheeks, your, your cheeks, your, your will, cheeks, guide you. Your cheeks will guide oh, you. Yeah, you ran out of oxygen. Oh no. You're just dead now. Just my cheeks didn't save me? No, no, no You that's... have to find something sharp to prod them. Oh, look around, look, look behind you. Is there anyone else here with you? Why would there be? No. There... Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, I think you messed something up, Mark. Uh, I... Take yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you press? I, oh, uh, sorry. Oh! There. There, um, he got you. Uh, what? Oh, can we go in there? Whoa. Oh, cool. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, Are you stuck? Whoa. <laughs> My <laughs> cheeks. Oh, the cheeks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big stinky. <laughs> wow. And your cheeks <laughs> saves the day. Big stinker. Wow. That's amazing. That was actually pretty. There you go. Was a, that, yeah, so intuitive? obviously. Intuitive. Intuitive. Nailed it See, that's the try. thing. Intuitive game design yeah. is what we're all about. It's not too easy, but our yeah, our cheek, uh, our cheek inflation system is very robust. This is all custom built, like proprietary. He oh, did all. Wow. This. Yeah, he did wow. all this. Whoa! That's robust. Yeah, yes. look at that. <laughs> yeah, I love the explosion of cheek. That yeah, yeah. yeah. Really it wanted to be like airbags. <laughs> Great work, Sean. Thank Excellent. you. Yeah, Excellent well job, done. you too. I. I mean, yeah. it's, it's not necessarily about how it looks, it's about how it makes you feel. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Think of your childhood. Okay. As a young Irish lad, mm -hmm. dealing with the bully. How many times did you, did you hear, hey, potato boy, or hey, Guinness guy? Why don't you and your red hair get over here <laughs> and drink this Guinness? I can't believe you had to put up with that. No, 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 it's, it does not taste good. Avoid the stereotypes because they are uh, inaccurate and bad. Go! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
avoid these stereotypes at all costs. Yeah, avoid them. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh, A Lord. and D. Ah! So No, don't hit them. I'm gathering no, my heritage. These stereotypes is, you know, they really stick with you when yeah. when you when you encounter I see, them. I see. Yeah. I like I like your menu system. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We we made that. I like your Did you make this from scratch? Yes. yes. The problem with this is that I don't dislike leprechauns. Then hit them, you go faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. you'll go faster. It's, you yeah. know, it can If you be. embrace your heritage, you go faster. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. tiddly di 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 <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these leprechauns you're collecting. This is... Is this endless? Is this all, like, procedural? No, there's an end. You there's can, an end. Try yeah. to beat it. Sean, like wow. leprechauns. Wow, this is, right. this is, we've never gone this far. This is incredible. You haven't even beaten your own game? This is beyond us. Wow, Third? look at all those left. Okay, you want to play it? Really There's, it's impossible. To, this is broken. I, what do you broken. mean? He's just not good enough. We have uh, something else you could play. Something else. Go into we the had, menu. We had enough time. We've made two games. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we you, made eight. Wait, this is just a. You didn't make this. <laughs> what are these other games? Interesting. So, uh, what about Irish history are we seeing here? Are these well, potato, you can see the gold. Um, <laughs> yeah. The, the gold. Uh, what's these that are one bars of gold. Uh, yes. Irish gold. Butter. Yes. Amazing game, wow. guys. Thank Incredible. you. Thanks, yeah. guys. So many Very awesome, well beautiful. Thank you. That $15 plank of wood was used really well. Thank you. Feeling real proud of my heritage right now. Yes. Amazing. We did it. I love making games, and I love making them from scratch, and I love when you know you don't need to like rely on like pre-made assets to make an awesome game here. You know, you just kind of code it from the ground up. The fact that you could get the Unreal default mannequin running and jumping around was just amazing. Yeah, isn't that so incredible? Like, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I learned so much in just two hours. Legitimately, like going into the blueprint system, going into like changing material properties, suddenly all those like RGB things made yeah. sense. And I'm like, oh, I get it now. There's way more to it than I thought. Like that, I knew like the nodes and everything, like putting them all together and yeah. creating your own logic and everything was like as complex as you want it to be, but. Even just basic stuff was really hard to do. I know. We should do this again sometime. If you guys have an idea for another Unreal challenge we could do, please leave it in the comments. Guys, guys, comment with the word subscribe if you like this video. <laughs> <laughs>